It's written that every generation that the temple, the eternal temple, has not been rebuilt in that generation. So that generation needs to take it to his heart that if the temple was built in his days, so it would have been destroyed in his days. So that's a very harsh, loud um, rebuke for us that the temple has not been rebuilt in our days. Now it's really in our hands and many of us are, drow are downgrading our abilities and our power. Many of us are doubting our skills and talents and strength, but you should remember that in reality you are the last messenger, the last link in the chain of your family. You are the one who made it through all generations and came to this last one that we are at in our days. Think about the fact that you are a descendant of amazing people your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, and also in the generations of the generations that you don't remember, that you don't know who really they were. And I'm talking about the ancient ones, your family ancestors from 500, 800 years ago, 1200 years ago, 1500 years ago, 2000 years ago, 3000 years ago. You might be part of the holy tribes, definitely even some sparks. Think about how many connections and weddings occurred in history for you to be born in our days and to be the one that you are. How many weddings, how many families has joined for you to be their product, for you to be their chosen kid, that in this generation will bring the completion and the redemption to our lives. And you are that one that all the eyes of all ancient generations are looking at and hoping for him to wake up and to believe in himself. So think about 200 families or 100 families, things that we don't understand. All of them are looking at you as their child. All of them, they have hope from you as their child, as their messenger, to go and to redeem the world. So, like we say in prayer, Zohar Chasde Avot, that the creator of the world, who remembers the kindness of our ancestors, attach yourself to the holiness, to the purity of the hearts of your family, of your family tree, and remember to be the best that you can for them and by their merit and as their direct descendant do your job and be positive and faithful and trustworthy for us to be able to count on you as well for you to be partner with us in this amazing process of bringing down the light for the redemption to take place. And we're not scared of no man, thank God. And we're clean in our hearts to know exactly what is our purpose and what is our mission. 
and we just need all of us together as one, super united and attached and and with a lot of love and appreciation to hold hands and that every one of us will reveal his talents and his abilities, the blessings that the Creator treasured inside of you. You need to let it shine. You need to show the world the beauty that the Maker of the universe treasured inside of you. And you need to be that one to shine and to allow that truth to be expressed in the world. And the world is thirsty for people like you to be honest, to be truthful and faithful and nice and friendly. Simply, you don't need to do much. You just need honestly to be your true self. You need to be nice and kind and friendly and smiling. Even if the environment is negative, you need to express your love to the Torah, your love to Am Israel, the people of Israel, to the Holy Land. You need to express your opinion, your thoughts, your vision, your ideas, your understandings, and just to be truthful and honest about it. And not to be scared what people will say, what people will think. Anyway, they don't know what they're talking about and they don't know how to think straight. So, <laughs> in any case, we need to be positive and faithful and good and to reveal the, the light of our souls to the world and, and not to give up and not to lose hope for wonders can come and wash the world and I remind you we can do it and it is in our power to bring the complete redemption the redemption does not have to come to a generation that is all so fancy and like people are the most humble and broken souls will be the ones who will see the light of God and speak with him face to face. The generation of redemption is definitely going to be this broken generation that people have been humbled for years, for thousands of years. And now we're ready, thank God, for this amazing day to come. And we will all be united with love, trust, and great friendship just for that one noble purpose of revealing the light of Hashem, the light of God, the light of truth, the light of the Torah, the Holy Torah, Torah Kedusha, out to the world for everyone to know Him and to be blessed by Him. Amen.